Defensively, you know, we just got to get on one accord, communication, understanding uh, what, what needs to be done um, and be consistent with it. You know, we show, we show spurts of it, you know, whether if it's a quarter, two quarters, but, you know, we got to make it closest to 48 minutes as possible. Pop said you've been patient with everybody because he knows some <coughs> Are y'all getting the sense that that patience is one of the things? I mean, yeah, not even just for him, but ourselves as, as well, you know, because, you know, we – Everybody on this team hate losing. You know, we want to figure it out as quick as possible. So, you know, with it, our patience is, you know, you know, shortened as well because, you know, we want to get on top of this thing and get rolling. So, you know, we 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 trying to figure it out as fast as possible. But we understand once we get the click and it rolling, you know, we're gonna be fine. Marcus had some interesting comments. He said he wants to do the dirty work and let you and Rudy do all the scoring. Do y'all have to step to him and say, look, we need you to score too? Yeah, we definitely need him. We definitely need him, man. You know. Um, like I said, once that rhythm come of you know, the, how we playing, how we moving the ball, finding them, it's going to come. But we definitely need him to score. Any opportunity is an opportunity, of course. But maybe Sunday with those guys here is kind of the perfect opportunity yeah. to get back to work. Yeah, whoever it was against. If it was against the Monstars, <laughs> you, you had to be ready. You know, it's a perfect opportunity for us to go out there and, and you know get things rolling. You know, as long as you got that opportunity to go out there and play, it's the opportunity for you to go out there and try to get a victory, no matter who you're playing against. So tomorrow should be fun. What do you expect from Golden State? They've obviously had the, the turmoil they've been going through, and then they, they're coming off a pretty big loss to Houston, and I guess they're in Dallas tonight. But I mean, do you expect them to be kind of fired up? For sure. You know, as well as, as us, too. You know, we dropped some tough, tough games. You know, and, and so that's why I said it's going to be an extremely fun game tomorrow. Um, you're going to get the best from both of us, I'm pretty sure. Is there anything that starting group can do to get off to a better start? Because that seems to be um, – it just seems to be you guys are digging out a hole. Like yeah, you know, we, we got to we, – we can't wait to fill ourselves out, you know, or, or uh, wait for a mistake to understand how to fix that mistake. We got to go out there and play. If a mistake happens, keep playing hard, you know, and that's what we do later in the game. But earlier in the game, we kind of be juggling with that, not trying to make a mistake. And it kind of makes us a little bit stagnant. Just go out there, play hard, whatever happens, keep keep playing hard. Obviously, a guy like Lamarcus, who has a history of in this league of being a great shooter, um, he's kind of seems to be beating himself up over the, the missed shots. Do you, do you sort of just figure it? He'll figure that out. Yeah, he's gonna figure it out. I mean, his whole career, he's been a scorer, shooter. That don't go nowhere. You know, I'm, I see guys that. 70 years old, if they was a shooter when they was 20 and 30, that's the last thing that goes. So that's definitely going to come back come back around. You guys had to adjust to Derek being the starting point guard as opposed to when it was Brent? Um, I think it's, it's just getting a feel of understanding, you know, what he like to do, what's his tendencies, especially for me, you know, just understanding what he like, how he control the game, what he like to do, like to be aggressive, shooting, pick and roll, just getting that, that sort of a feel, you know. Um, and once he get more comfortable, we all be more comfortable because he, you know, he the primary uh, ball handler. Tomorrow we saw you giving turkeys and talking yesterday. How important is it to have to go? I mean, it's it means everything to me when I can give back and at least change somebody's spirit in any type of way, man. Um, the city that I grew up in uh, made me the person I am. So whenever I have the opportunity to give back or lift somebody's spirits. I try to I try to figure figure that out as best I can and you know it went great.